Welcome back. In China, skyscraper construction is a booming enterprise, but as the buildings get higher, so do the fire safety risks. Now Chinese researchers are developing and testing a new type of fire rescue equipment. CCTV's Han Peng takes a look. As Chinese skyscrapers become higher and higher, there's a growing concern over fire evacuation. A group of researchers in Beijing are testing a new kind of equipment that, if successful, could significantly add to the chances of survival in a high-rise fire. The equipment, now installed in a 40-meter-high university dormitory, can carry four to five people each time from any floor safely down to the ground. Researchers say it's a fireproof elevator that operates without electricity. It works like a seesaw. When people get on one lift, the other side becomes lighter, so the elevator begins moving without consuming electricity. But as we know, there could be gravitational acceleration during a downward movement, so we have developed a sophisticated damping system to keep it rolling at a stable speed. I'm now standing on the top of a 15-story school dormitory with over 3,000 students living inside. Across China, as the construction boom is taking place, there's an increasing number of skyscrapers. Having a safe and reliable rescue equipment during fire has become a fatal necessity. Over the past few years, a string of deadly high-rise fires have shocked the nation. In 2012, 58 residents were killed in a high apartment building in Shanghai. This May, two young firefighters died on duty as they fell from the 13th floor of a burning high-rise after fire cut off their route to the ground. The new equipment being tested in the university is making students feeling safer. I live on the 14th floor of the dorm, and I often think that if a fire really took place one day, all I could do would be to pray for survival. Now hopefully this equipment can help in an emergency. There are still questions over the facility, though, such as whether this is the most cost-effective method of fire rescue and how it fits into some irregularly shaped buildings. But the awareness of making China's skyscrapers not just higher but also safer is on the rise. Han Peng, CCTV.